The summer of 67 was a groundbreaking year in music history, with so many albums released that were destined to become classics by acts like The Doors, Jefferson Airplane, Jimi Hendrix, and Procol Harum. San Francisco was the hotbed for the psychedelic scene. The Beaver Valley and Pittsburgh music scenes were hopping too. The bands there marched to the beat of their own drummers. The summer of 67, what was going on musically? What do you think about? Summer of 67 was one of the big, dra most drastic changes in my life as a musician. Uh, most of my friends were being torn more towards the rock and the summer of love. And me being a soul guy, I was still trying to hang on to the Motown and James Brown and the whole bit. Beaver Valley's future chart toppers, the Jaggers, were sticking to R&B and drawing big crowds. Yeah, 67. Uh, let's see, the uh, Jaggers, we were playing at Geneva on the lake. We did, um, let's see, we did seven nights a week there. Seven nights a week with two jam sessions on Saturday and Sunday. So we were playing nine times a week in the summertime. And then, uh, and then we, um, during the winter time, we'd come home and we'd play a club called the Club Natural in Beaver Falls. 67 happened and we, we changed drastically. The hair grew, we were wearing fringed vests and bell bottoms or f at least flares. I, I started with trainer flares and moved into bells. And uh, <laughs> been on the national scene, it was kind of cool to mix all the, all the different kind of genres, such as you had a lot of groups that had a soul and jazz background that were doing this new heavy sound, this new love sound. Jimi Hendrix is a perfect example of that. I mean, he was a jazz blues soul guy and within two months, he became the icon of psychedelic music. Jack runs Johnny Angel's Ginchy Stuff Museum on the north side, where people come from across the country to check out 1960s music memorabilia. 70% of my guests that come through here are from other states and out of country. And I can always tell when they hit an era that really triggers for them. And even if they didn't live through it, they remember reading it or seeing movies. And that era was 65 to like 69. And that's 67, of course, right in the middle. And that was the summer of love. 